So it's appropriate that we're here today on the first day of fall because um, that's one of the things we've been noticing in the marsh lately is that there are a lot of signs that the seasons are changing. It's not quite as obvious as, say, trying to park on campus in Tallahassee on game day, but it's at least obvious to us. Not only is it much more pleasant to be out in the marsh all day long because it's not nearly as hot, but also there's some clear signs that the plants are doing things differently and even the animals may be uh, behaving a little differently right now. One of the really kind of clear signs is that the Spartina, the cord grass, is uh, sending up reproductive stems, which are much taller than the surrounding marsh, and they look real feathery. They have kind of this yellowish feathery appearance. There are also some other marsh plants that are reproducing right now. Sea lavender, or limonium, puts up a really pretty small lavender flower. Sometimes if you're driving along the marsh and you kind of see this purplish haze, um, that's probably what you're seeing there, and a lot of people really like to collect sea lavender, actually. They think it's pretty in their yards. And the animals, too. The snails seem to be really abundant, and they've grown larger over the summer, and they're having really dramatic impacts on the Spartina. You can definitely see the grazing scars on the Spartina right now on the cord grass. And interestingly, they seem to congregate on these taller reproductive stems. And we don't know exactly why that is. It could be that they just like the additional height to keep them out of the high tide and away from their predators. Or it could be that, you know, there's something about those reproductive stems that is uh, tastier for the snails. Uh, we're hoping to set up some experiments in the next few weeks to try and tease those apart. Another sign that the, the seasons are changing is just my lab. Several of the members of the lab have either returned back to classes uh, on campus or gone to different jobs and so we're working with a smaller crew right now. With our smaller crew uh, we've got a few more experiments and more data that we want to collect in the field, some things we'll do here in the lab and then eventually things will start to sort of tail off for us as well especially as we get into late October early November. We won't be going in the field as much but then we'll um, get to the business of sorting through all the samples that we've collected this summer and trying to really understand uh, what it all means and, and put it together as far as data analysis and, and writing up papers.